But also, uh, yesterday, so you're talking about something that happened yesterday. Yesterday, your teacher was ill. So, another teacher taught you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, and so you said that that was really good day. So why it was good day? Like, not, not good day, not good day, <clears throat> not good day. It's how a lot of teachers scold, oh. scold, my friends, scold my friends. I don't know why, like my scold my friend, like some things it's not, 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 not really neat. Like, uh, you need to sit down, yeah, like that. You need to raise your hand. But, but like some friends, they don't know. They don't know and they don't need to raise their hands. Oh, yeah. Got it. So, so it was something new for you. It was something new, so you didn't you didn't know how to behave. So it was because you know new teachers. So you didn't have any idea what to do or not to do. Yeah. So it was a bit challenging for you, right? Yeah. It's, it's ah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Well. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Ready? Ready? Now yes. We have a quiz. Let me share my screen. Okay. Well, let's see what we have. Okay. Oh, we are going to interview people who make our school a great place to learn. Who makes? Who makes your school a great place to learn? Who? Teachers? Maybe head teachers, cook, nurse, librarian. So which one? P teacher? Who? Mm, here. Mm. Yeah. A I teachers. Teachers make the school the best place to learn. What do you think? Mm, principles. Oh, principles? Ah. Oh. Principles yeah. make my school. Yeah. So, yeah, of course. Well, and now, as you can see, we have some words here. Look. And we have some pictures. Let's match them. The first one, cook. Which one can be the cook? Cook which someone who cook someone who cook for yeah. cafeteria. Someone who prepare your lunch or food cook. So let's mash. I like my school lunch and breakfast. It's very yummy. Oh, yeah. it's delicious. Yeah, delicious. Very yummy and delicious. Yeah. Or is yummy? Okay, yummy is good, but let me teach you something, Sarah, that is really important. Yummy is good, but you know, we have different words now. Actually, new level, it's better to use different words. But yummy, yummy is too basic, it's for kids. So you can say delicious and tasty, tasty. So it's tasty and delicious, okay? It means, of course, they are synonyms. Tasty means delicious. So something that has good taste. So you can say tasty. So don't say yummy. Yummy is too basic, it's for kids, okay? So you can say that as really. Okay, well, and the next one, head teacher, Let's check the definitions here. Okay, head teacher. Who is head teacher? Do you know what is the difference between teacher and head teacher? Teachers, like, I think it's mm, principals. I think it's principals. Yeah, Principal. yeah, so, yeah, of course, they're head. They normally, so it's like, you know, often. Head teachers don't teach lessons in classroom. Yeah. Instead, yeah. They spend their time using their years of experience to motivate and manage their staff. So we can say, let me write here, 
What's the difference between teacher, classroom teacher, and head teacher? So we say head teachers don't often, of course, not always, but often don't teach lessons in classrooms. Instead, yeah. okay, let me type it here so that you can see. Instead, they spend their time using their experience to talk, talk to, to motivate, yeah, to motivate and manage everything, manage their staff, all the teachers. And of course, oh my God. I think has, I think have teachers is fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun. <laughs> of course, it can be kind of fun, but you know, no, it's not easy because, you know, yeah. first you're a teacher. Then after many years, so you need to be experienced to be head teacher. So that's really important. Well, so this is about a head teacher. And let's see who is class teacher, which picture. So we have class teacher. We have I, head teacher. I think it's picture A. Yeah, class teacher is A. OK, how about head teacher? Which picture? Principals. D. F. No, F. It's yeah, oh, I can see here. Of course, I can see here. OK, and we have caretaker, someone who helps clean. Yeah. If there is any issues, yeah, they can help. So which one? Mm, me. Good job. School nurse. School nurse, C. Yeah. OK, how about a librarian? B. Good job. And P teacher? G. Good job. OK, now let's match them. The first one, the school job. And how did they help? Teacher, A, B, C, D. Which one? Teacher, mm, F. Teach me a lot of teachers. Teachers. Yeah. Teachers. Cook. Cook. Prepare my lunch. Very like good. It's very yeah, librarian. delicious. Yeah, tasty and delicious. Perfect. Okay, librarian. Librarian. Slaps me books. Very good. PE teacher. Mm, keeps. Yeah. Keeps me fit and caretaker. Caretaker. Mm. Oh, oh my God. Please and fix this and things in my school. And nurse. Mm. Look after me if I ill or hurt. Very good. Perfect. OK, and now you tell me, Sarah, whose job is maybe more important than the others? Whose job? Teacher, cook, librarian, PE teacher, caretaker, nurse. You can say all of them. Principals, head teachers. Yay. <laughs> OK, principal. OK, well, and now. We're going to learn adverbs of frequency and how to use them. As you can see, never, sometimes, always, we have percentage 0, 50, 100. And between never and sometimes, we have hardly ever. That is rarely. Sometimes, usually, always. Of course, we have often as well. So I sometimes 50 50. Like, for example, uh, if I want to make an example, right? You know, give an example for week. Sometimes maybe can be two days per week. 
Always, every day, usually five days a week. So, usually can be about 80 person. Can be about, let me write. So, that is 80 person. Let me change the color. Hardly ever that is 20 person. Let me change the color so that you can see the better. Okay, how to use them? That is really important. Pay attention. If you have the word B, B means M or E's or R, you use adverb of frequency after. For example, I am always energetic. I am always. Okay, so I have a lot of energy like she is, for example, she's sometimes uh, or usually she's usually late. So after B, after M, E, S, R, you can use adverb of frequency, but if you have if you have another verb, like for example, regular, regular, go play, eat. Okay, I always have my breakfast, breakfast. At, school. at school. I always. So as you can see, between verb and subject. And why we use them to say how often something happens. So it can be always, usually, or sometimes, or rarely, or hardly ever, or never, never is zero. For example, I, okay, I never uh, go to school by bus. I never go to school by bus. Never go to school by bus. I'm, I never go to school by bus too. Ah, right. How to say, okay, let me teach you another thing. That is really important. You want to say me too. Of course you can say me too. But if I were you, I would say another actually sentence. You can say, for example, I always, okay, I never. So you can use, you can use auxiliary. So do I, neither do I. If you have negative, neither. For example, I don't eat pizza. You want to say me too. Neither do I, neither do I. I always go to school by my own car. So you can say, so do I. I will teach you how to use this. Okay, you can use B or you can use auxiliary. I will teach you later. Here, okay, me too is okay. Well, now I want you to make sandals okay, using. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, and uh, I can 10 minutes last. Can I, uh, can, can I, today I can, can I start only 15? minutes because I didn't go to dinner and I'm oh, so tired. And it's okay. It's, it's okay. So let's finish and you can. Yeah, of course. Well, so we will finish our class 10 minutes earlier so you can have your dinner. Okay. Okay. Thanks, school teacher. You're welcome. Okay. So could you please make sentences using never, sometimes, usually, always? Okay. Mm, I'm always, I'm always late. I'm usually late. Yes, I'm usually late. You're usually late? Why? I don't know. Like, I go to school, I some, I'm usually late too. No, like, not, ah. not, not late. Like, not late, like it's on time. It's in time. It's in time. Oh, it's in time. Yeah. I oh, got it. So you are usually late for school. It's not yeah. good, but <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I think it's fun. It's not good, but I think it's fun. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> it's not fine. It's not. 
Okay, so let's make sounds using never. Never. I'm never. Okay, you I'm can use another word, not only be. So you, you say I am, you can use another word like go play. Okay. Eight. I'm never go to. I'm, well, I'm never go to. I can't hear you. Uh, okay, you are scratching up. I can't hear you very well, my dear. So, Sarah, can you hear me? If you can hear me, could you please check your connection because it's really difficult to hear you. My uncle. My dear, could you please, could you please check your connection? I can't hear you. It's like your voice is breaking up and now your screen is frozen. Frozen? What does that mean? It means you, you, you don't means? move. It's, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, ha okay, say something. It's okay now. I can, I can see you. Okay, um, I never go to my uncle's house. Ah, you never go to your uncle's house, okay? And well, with sometimes. Do you know? Do you know why? Do you know why no, I never go to my uncle's house? Of course, I don't. I don't. Maybe they live far from your house, and you can't. Maybe they live in another country. So what? Uh, no, my uncles don't live in house. My uncles live in apartment. Ah. Oh. My uncle's in oh. apartment, not <laughs> So you go to house, oh, crazy. But go you go oh, okay, apartment. house. Got it. Okay, very good. It was right one. Perfect. Okay. Well, flat. You can say apartment or flat. They live in a flat. Yeah, flat means apartment. Okay. Well, and with sometimes. Sometimes, some I sometimes I eat salmon. Salmon. So I sometimes, of course, you can use sometimes at the beginning, but here it's better to use it after subject. I sometimes eat salmon. I sometimes. Okay. So after the subject, you can use it. Well, and now, listen to the three school helpers talking about their jobs. Who are they? Are you ready? Okay. Very good. Track three. Plays. Plays. Goes. No, it's not. What? what Catches. Wait, 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 wait. There is something wrong with this. Okay. No, it's not. One moment. I need to check something. Well. Just one moment, my dear. Okay, so just a few seconds to check something. I downloaded the file that, okay, they sent me, but it's not. Okay, so global English. Okay, one moment to CD1. Yeah, it's CD1 and so let me check this one. It's weird. Let's check again. Track three. Three. Plays. Plays. Ooh, it's track four. Four. Let's check. One. No. I enjoy fishing with my brother and my dad. Oh, it's not. Two. Not. No, it's not. It's not. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So I try to find it later. So, well, okay. Let me ask you. Well, uh, let's talk about uh, what school workers do for you. Staff. People, you can say workers or staff. People who work at school or somewhere are called staff. So, stop saying walkers, you can say staff. Who always gets up to open the school gates? 
Always gates up to open school gates. I think God. Yeah. God. Yeah, God. Okay, who sometimes God. works on yeah? Who sometimes works on a Saturday morning? Sometimes. Today um principles. Not okay, not maybe, sometimes, maybe can maybe. Who is always in the school kitchen? Cook. Who usually takes ten minutes to Cook. write? To yeah, yeah. Who usually takes ten minutes to write to school teacher? <laughs> school. school driver. School driver. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, can you please? Could you please wait me one minute? I need to check something. Could you please wait me one minute? Okay. Thank you. Well, okay. Who works from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m.? Who? 9 a.m. for 4 p.m.? Oh yeah. my God. 9 a.m. Everyone. Uh, <laughs> Everyone. So, of course, caretaker, right? Yeah, caretaker. Yeah. And, of course, and teachers, of course, sometimes teachers. So, of course. Yeah, yeah sometimes. Yeah, and who usually fixes things in school? Of course. Who? Cure. Who fixes? Fixes? Mm, can't fix yeah, very good. Good job. Okay, well, and now. Of course, when I ask you what's your job, you answer, I'm a student. Okay, and okay. tell me, uh, what time do you start studying? What time? Mm, quarter past seven to four p.m. Okay, okay, and tell me, what is your favorite subject at school? You really like English. I love English. English. Yeah, is of course. <laughs> I very hate math. I very hate math. I didn't like math. But <laughs> I, I will. Form, so, I will hit. Form, uh, hits, form hits math. Hits math. Hits math. Oh, you hate math. <laughs> okay. It's okay. math. Okay, well, and now let's talk about something else that is really important. Organize a community event. So what is that? Write a leaflet, a brochure about an event in your community. So, Family Fun Day. Oh, so we have leaflets. As you can see, leaflet is a piece of paper. It provides some information. It gives us some information about something. So, for example, when you go to drugstore to buy some medicine, yeah? Each yeah. medicine has a brochure so that you, or leaflet brochure so that you understand how to use it. OK, so this way, as you can see, uh, family fun day. Could you read this one, please? OK, Honeycomb School Field Saturday, 5th July from 10, 3 p.m. Uh, 
Propensity's castle face pan. Mom and join us for a family fun day. What they have? They uh, have oh treasure hunt, live music, horse. Oh, it's a good one. I think yeah. in the chat, have gold diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Diamond. Of okay. course. Yeah. And now tell me. If you want to, if you want to make, okay, a leaflet to invite people to join an event, it can be anything. So any event or occasion, what would it be? Uh, oh my God. What? For example, the... for example, come and join our dancing day. You can dance, you can sing, yeah? Yeah. I, can dance. I think it's a good idea, right? Yeah. Well, come and join. So you can say, come and join, come and enjoy. So both of them, okay? So for example, you can have a great morning with all the families. You can, and then you can go jogging, for example. Yeah, so it's really good. Well, and now let's read these leaflets, okay, and and decide whether the statement are true or false. Could you read number one A, please? Family fun day. Family fun day is okay. It's held Family at a weekend. Family fun days, okay. Mm. Tiny Com School Field Saturdays 5th July from 10 3 p.m. We will have bouncy castle face painting. Oh god. Super painting treasure hunt. Oh, live music. Horror horse ride. Okay. Yeah, just you know, just just let me uh so what day so is held at the weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, of course it's wicked. And there are five different activities you can take part in. You can participate. You can take part. Five different. Five different. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, and six, wow. right? Yeah, of course, six, so it's false. Okay, so which one do you like best? Six. Fantasy castle, face painting, sculpture painting, treasure hunt, live music, horse ride. So which one is your favorite? I like live music because I can dance, I can sing, ah, and I can uh, play keyboard. Yeah, of course. And how about Bouncy Castle? Bouncy Way Castle? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, but my mom really does. Yeah. What? Yeah, but my. But yeah, I like it. But my mom and my dad don't want to me. And Molly, and oh. Molly play. It. My dad, my, my mom said it's very dirty. Oh, it's very dirty. Oh. It's very oh, but you can. Oh, what, yeah. why is dirty? It's, it's like, you know, it's, you can, but it's really fun. You can jump up and down. It's so fun. Well, I don't. I don't know what, but. Yeah, of course, you're right. My mom you don't like. Yeah. The right. spelling B even take place in the local library ver local library local library were were local library no no community center right local library no, it's community Ooh. center, right? Oh, again, your picture's frozen. Teacher can't hear. 
dear, can you hear me? Sarah, can you hear me? It's like you today. There is something wrong with connection, I think. Okay. So, I, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can, okay, well, and now, so it's false or true. Of course, it was false because it take place, it happens. Take place means happen. Yeah. Place means happen. Okay. Yeah. Well, the next one, it's to raise money for pets that don't have a home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. The next one, could you read it, please? The fun run is only for adults. Adults. So no. let's see. For family. Yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. With all the family. And you need to get there 30 minutes before the start of the race. Yeah. It's right. Yeah, of course it's true. Wow, very good. Okay, well. So, tell me, write your answer. Which event is for you? If you are into sports, you are into means you like sports. Mm, which yeah. event? I say I, this one. I, in, I think... I'm into family fun days because it's have live music and trees hunt, right? Yeah, awesome. Every, if every, yeah, if you enjoy reading. Reading? Mm, no. I don't know. Are you good at spelling? La, 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 la. Yeah. I'm, I'm good at spelling, but of course. I know. But, so which event, no, I want to know which one can be good if, if you enjoy. So if you enjoy, of course, spelling and you want to raise money for the local children's hospital, which one? Oh my God, the Freaky Family Fun Run. Yeah, Freaky Family Fun Run. Yeah, of course. And the next one, if you don't have plans on Saturday, so we take place on Saturday. Saturday is family friend day. Saturday. Good job. Okay. And which one is good for you? If you are keen on, if you like, you know that I'm into, I'm keen on, I'm, I'm interested in craft activities. Something or painting or which one? Um, family fun day again. Of course, of course, because you know you can make objects. So you can, for example, sculpture painting. So I think it's really good. Well, and now look. Buy your tickets. Come and join. Enjoy a day out. Okay. So as you can see, the beginning of these sentences is a word. But you know, actually, we ask people to do something directly. For example, when I say sit down, I focus, I emphasize the activity. So I ask you to do something. So sit down, be quiet, eat. Okay, don't talk, buy your ticket. So actually, I encourage, oh, I encourage you to, oh, you are in Galaxy. I encourage you to do something. So when you want to encourage someone to do something like, you know, do this, okay? You can use a base form, infinitive without to, at the beginning of the sentence. So that is really easy to use it. For example, I'm a teacher. When I want my students to be quiet, I say, guys, silent, quiet, be quiet. So this way I focus on what I want, okay? So look, these are slogans. Oh, we write them when we want people to come to an event. So slogan is a short sentence. It has specific meaning and we normally use it to, for example, I don't know, to say something important about some, for example, a brand, a name, okay, something. Look, we write slogans when we want people to come to an event or buy something. 
Let's see. Let's match these slogans to an event. So which one? Wine, activity one. So let's see. Join us at the local community center. Which one can be? Can be which event? Events. Which event? Join us. Look. This is join us at the local community center. This is a short uh -huh. sentence. Yeah. Family fun days again. No. B day. Spelling B day. Yeah. And the next one. Run for Royal Children's Hospital. Which one? Family fun run. Yeah. And. Uh, come and try sculpture painting. Mm, yeah, family fun days. Good job. And buy your activity pass today. Activity pass today. Oh. Buy your, oh, buy your fun activity. Yeah, of course. It's like tickets. Yeah, of course. Very good. Well, and now, Sarah. You are going to write a slogan for something. For example, it can be really delicious food. It can be fast food. It can be something, everything. Tell me a really to re a really good sentence slogan, okay? To convince me, okay, buying that thing. For example, I have actually a restaurant I can say, and I, my, I think my food, you know, what I serve at my restaurant is really delicious. So I say, uh, taste of, taste of life. This is my slogan. So what is yours? If you want to promote it, you, for example, you want to advertise something. So let's make. Where are you? I can't see you. This background is a bit annoying. I'm here. Oh, because of background, sometimes I can't see you. I mean, I need to off my backgrounds. Wait a minute. Poop, poop, poop. Ah, that's okay now. Yeah, it's better now. Okay, so let's make slogan. It's your turn. Okay. Um, delicious food. Tasty food. When you come. Well, come here, come here, slope, okay? Come here to eat God foods. Yeah, of course, very good. So I can understand that you are talking about a restaurant. So, slogan yeah. is short, easily remembered phrase. Okay, well, let me change the color. I can't see what I'm typing. Okay. Well, and now, oh, we can, this is your, this can be your homework, okay? You actually, you should design a leaflet for the big cleanup. So how is that? Research, planning, writing, read and check. So first of all, decide on a local charity you want to raise money for. For example, it can be anything or something else. Or a place in your town or at school that needs a big cleanup. And if so, you can talk about it, you can write, then you need to make your plan. So I want to write, for example, this part of a school, or I want to write about a charity. And then you actually are going to hold an event. So date and time is important. What needs doing or cleaning up? Or how to organize it? How to raise money? So you need to give some details. Then if you have any photos, you can add. Write. Don't forget about read and check your leaflet and send it to me. Okay? Okay. So what do you want to write about? Tell me. Do you know? Why about hmm, my slogan, restaurant. Restaurant, that's perfect. So for example, this is an opening, a big yeah. opening for a restaurant, and you want to invite me, you want to invite me to join 
OK, to your event and then you can make your leaflet to give me. OK. Yeah. Don't forget about write your slogan and details. Well, this is your homework. Don't forget about writing it. And now, OK, we have the treasure. Oh, what treasures do you think that you the children find? What treasure? Have you ever found a treasure? Something really valuable? Yeah? No. No? Do you like? It can be money or jewelry, jewelry or for example, I didn't know something really valuable. Do you have treasure? Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's read. Let's read this one. Sarah, could you please read this text to see what they find? Treasure. Mit, mit Damila, the class teacher, gave our piece of paper. This is your homework for the book, children. The sugar corn. It was Friday and they did then usually get homework over the weekend. Your homework, it's so, it's to follow the map of your neighborhood to find the treasure on the place. Mark with an X on the map. Oh my nah, good. very good. Put up his hand. Are there really treasure hiding in our neighborhood, Miss, Mr. Damila? Of hidden. course. Hidden. Hidden. Yeah, of course, we can say hide, hidden. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so teacher gave out a piece of paper. Okay, and what was that? Homework for children. So the children go, oh, it was Friday. They didn't usually get homework over the weekend, but you know, oh, just started like, you know, grown, like, oh, I don't like, I don't want to do this. And, but, the homework was really interesting. They needed to actually follow the map of their neighborhood and find some treasures at a place marked with X. That, that was really good, actually. I like this one. And, of course, uh, are there really treasures hidden in their neighborhood? Yeah, who knows? So, let's see. What is the children's homework? You say according to the text. What is their homework? The homework is to find a treasure. Treasure. Uh, say treasure. Treasure. Yeah, very good. And the next question. Let me ask you. Okay. Why aren't the children happy? Mm, they aren't happy. Mm, they don't like homework. Yeah, and you know the meaning of browning, like, you know, making a deep sound. Oh, no, because we are unhappy. We make it so <laughs> sometimes when teacher gives a lot of homework, you do it. Start groaning like, oh, no, we don't know. It's not good. Why did the children run out of the door? Because? Find a bell ring and everyone ran out of the door. Yippee, it's Friday. Yippee, yippee, yeah, yippee. of course. Well, so let me write the meaning of this word, the last one. And then if you want, you can go. Groaning, as I told you, to make a deep, loud sound showing unhappiness. When you are not happy or sometimes when you have pain, you make a deep, loud sound. OK, well, my dear, so uh, OK, so you want to go 10 minutes earlier now? Yeah, 10 or 5 okay. minutes. It's so, so it's your choice. Now we have 10 minutes. So if you want, now you can go. If no, we can continue. So it's your choice because we have the rest of our text. So it's your choice. Uh, OK, I will go now because I'm very it's hungry. Okay. I'm tired now. It's okay. 
reminder. It's okay, so we can uh, read this part at the next show, but of course you can read it at home because it's really easy and you can answer these questions. So the rest of our text, so you can read it at home. So don't forget about doing your homework because it's really important. Make a leaflet and send it to me. I will correct and send it again, okay? Okay. Okay, my dear. So you can go now. Goodbye, teachers. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye.